Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, this is the first video I've done in a couple of months, you may have noticed. <laughs> um, after putting up my first thoughts on this game, I kind of fell off the videoing...ness. Uh, but they just dropped a new character a couple of days ago, and I haven't played the game since he dropped, so... It feels like a good time to get back in and start recording again. Uh, you'll notice my camera is in a slightly different position to normal, it's up there. Um, that's because I had it on my laptop screen and there was a lot of vibration and I didn't think that would work so well because um, you may recall last time I was using a Switch Pro controller. This time I'm using something a bit different. <laughs> uh, I have gotten really, really into this series. Like, super into this series. If you're on my social media, like like Twitter or, or um, Betty, then you probably noticed I like Guilty Gear. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing, uh, we're just going to first dive into the training mode so I can try out Sin and see how he plays, because, uh, I haven't started the game since he joined, like I said. Uh, there he is, he's on that side. Okay. So, um, you may recall last time I was playing this game, I, like, just after Bridget dropped, I didn't really know anything about it. I didn't know who this guy was. This guy's not just some random guy. <laughs> That's the Guilty Gear. Soul Bad Guy is the Guilty Gear. Also, he's Freddie Mercury. Also, he's Basuke's self-insert. Uh, also, he invented Gear Cells with the help of Arya Hale and Batman. And yeah, I, I know a lot more lore now, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> um, yeah, because um, yeah, last time I basically knew that this man existed, uh, and that this man existed, and that this girl existed. But yeah, now I know a little bit more. <laughs> so this is Sin Kisk. Uh, he is um, Kai Kisk's son, and also Dizzy's son, but Dizzy's not in the game yet, so I can't show her to you. I desperately wanted to be in the game. She has become one of my absolute favorite characters, but she's not in Strive yet, which is real sad. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna dive in and check out how Sin plays, because yeah, he wasn't in the game, and so I don't know how he plays. <laughs> Uh, and we'll, yeah, we'll face off against Kai, I suppose. I do have mods installed to make the characters look a bit different, but the mods don't seem to be being applied, so I guess it's a vanilla experience this time. Also, I think I might need to backtrack and make sure I've set the graphics correctly. I'm definitely a professional, uh, video games woman. <laughs> Auto. Yeah, yeah, um, the thing is, I play this on my, like, little laptop as well as my main gaming laptop and it's not nearly as good at running high quality visuals and stuff but this, these settings get synchronized by steam between the two computers so i have to do it again each time i play on a different computer uh pretty annoying uh that should do it i think it should look a little bit nicer now uh yeah let's just jump in and try out sin and see how he goes Uh, just a little, little tidbit here. You see how he's holding a flag? That's his weapon. Sin fights with a flag. Uh, and the reason for that is that, uh, when he was asking Sol here, like, what's a cool weapon I can use? Sol was sarcastically like, yeah, you might as well just wear around a flag or something. And he took it seriously. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, we're gonna have him fight his dad, I reckon. Has a pretty simple character. I'm not sure who's, whose music it'll play. It might be Sin's or it might be Kai's. I haven't quite figured out how the game decides which character's music to play. Uh, both themes are absolute fire, of course, but I don't know which one's gonna play. <laughs> okay, this is, yeah, this this is, uh, this is Sin's theme. It's called the Hourglass. Uh, yeah, I'm just this is set so that another player can play as Kai, but no one's here, so that won't happen. Uh, okay, my back dash is a neat little flip thing, which I quite like. Uh, forward, yeah, pretty standard. Uh, double jump, no triple jump. Spin, I figured probably. Ooh, slash works pretty much the way you expect. Ooh, my heavy slash makes you walk forward a bit. I like that. Uh, Normal air dashing, pretty much what you expect. Okay. Uh, about the craft Pretty much what I was expecting. Okay. Uh, my sweep. 
Yeah, that's right. They all look more or less like I thought they would, but let's have a look at our specials. Okay, so we've got a Command Normal and Punch Kick and Heavy Slash. Oh. Hey, the low. Oh, interesting. And yeah, as usual, uh, 6P is pretty much always an anti-air in Guilty Gear, so it makes sense that it is for Sin too. Uh, oh yeah, and Sin has a stamina bar. A beat driver. Quarter circle forward into Heavy Slash. Okay, and you can tap Heavy Slash twice to get a follow-up. Okay. Um, for a Dragon Punch. I know the terminology now. <laughs> Oops, stone. Okay, so quarter circle back into slash. L cunt. All of his moves are named after different animals. Okay, so quarter circle forward into kick, and you can double kick if you want to get a bit harder. Uh, you go plus on block, which is quite nice. Gazelle step. Jeering special moves. You can do a dash. Okay. Still growing. Sin takes up food and eats if so something good happens after he eats. So the way this worked in Exard, um, Sin actually had like a food bar, and if it ran out, he mostly couldn't use special moves and had to eat. That's not how it works in Strive. Uh, in Strive, food like gives you an, a, a random buff when you use it, but you don't need to eat. Um, so it's a little bit simpler. Uh, what are our overdrives? Ride the Lightning? Or RTL? But yeah, it's Ride the Lightning. It's the same thing that his dad can do, which is pretty cute. Parent Barrel. Okay, so we've got a uh, half circle back forward into Heavy Strike to Ride the Lightning, and double quarter circle forward into Punch for Parent Barrel. Okay, let's try a few things and see how we do. So, um, Ride the Lightning, I mentioned, that's the thing Kai does, that's, that's like his dad's move. Uh, the Tyrant Barrel is a thing Sol does, uh, because Sin was mostly raised by Sol. So that's pretty adorable. <laughs> uh, Oof, is that really all you got, Dad? He's got some cute taunts. He actually does specifically react to fighting Kai, you can see, which is cool. Aww, they're so cute! Let's keep it up. Danger. 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 I've got, I think, the general basic, like the gist of how it plays in. And he's a four star character, so it's not that technical anyway. I've got no idea how to play as Jacko. She's way too complicated for me. <laughs> Probably I just need to practice and then I'll get it. Uh, let's check out his color schemes. Is there a pink one? Usually a pink one. It sure is. I do like that. 
go with that. <laughs> okay, so we're fighting Zato first. That means we'll see Zato in stage 8 as our helper. Assuming I'm staying on hard route and don't drop to normal. We'll see how we go. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on these things, they blame like beasts, heaven, or hell. Ah, the son of the first king. What brings you to me? Come on, no need to be so formal. Sin versus Zato. Dual okay, this is Zato's theme we're hearing now. Let's rock. And then this, now this. Well, hello. Suck Well, hello. All your care. Here you go. Execute. Ow. I'm hanging up a normal route. <laughs> Can you stand? Sit. Loses. I haven't played this character yet. Okay, I won, but with heart loss, I think it goes to normal. What are you doing here? This isn't the safest of areas. I'm showing a kid around. I think they're lost. They were right here a minute ago. Hey, where's my wallet? I hate to say it, but I think both wallet and kid are gone. I'm afraid the generous make the easiest marks. <laughs> well, hey, maybe they need it more than I do. You never know until you find out. I suppose not. <laughs> oh, Nago is the second character we fight. Interesting. Because Nago is normally the final boss on the arcade mode routes. Um, he's not in season two. Season two's arc final boss, I believe, is Kai for everyone. But before season two, it was all Nago. Mankind knew that they cannot yeah, change society. Right. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. Also, yes, he's very cool. As a retainer of Kazusa Nosuke, I will face you. Big fan of this guy. Energetic folks are great, but strong folks are even better. Sin versus Nagoriyuki. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Oh, what? Hey. I see it. 
I can actually hear Nagra's normal music. Because he's the final boss normally, you hear the boss music instead of his thing, but this is his thing. Come on out! Oh yeah, in case you weren't aware, Sin is five years old. <laughs> He's one quarter gear, so he ages up very quickly. Uh, but he is in fact five years old. Oh, hey Jacko. I, I really like Jackie. So cool. Ah, oh, there's, there's a lot... Like, I don't know how to play a server because she's a really complicated character. You have to summon little servants and order them to do things and stuff, but I really like her in terms of lore. <laughs> change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. To trick or treat! Energetic folks are great, but strong folks. That's the same intro. Should have picked something different. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Versus. Half the night, half the night. Get the bells ding dong. Also, her theme is amazing. Not like I don't want to know Walking and stopping half of me I guess so What can I say? How many miles it is like? and women's shoes You don't get to hear much of anyone's theme, which is why you've got to get the soundtrack separately. Because <laughs> the, the actual match is very short. Each theme's like five minutes or something, and the matches are like within a minute. <laughs> it's Bridget! Okay, obviously I know her theme. <laughs> I believe the way it works for stages two to seven is that yeah, two to seven is that they're more or less random. I think on normal route stage seven is a rematch of stage one, but otherwise it's just random characters in the middle. Mankind knew that they cannot can change, change society. society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Also, each character has like a home stage, which is where you go if you're fighting in an arcade. This is where Bridget ends up. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Mom's waiting. Sid versus Bridget. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh my god, I'm getting go yard. Too solid. 
slap. My dark lightning hurt good, didn't it? I probably need to reinstall my mods because it's an update for the game. There's a mod manager for this game, it's called Unveerum. You have to use the manager of like, to make sure the mods are applied, basically. And I just launched it for Steam normally, so it didn't happen. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was a pretty straightforward one. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm the grown up here. City wins. A little bit more experience. I think the experience also applies online, but I haven't really done a lot of playing online. Hey, May. Uh, I assume we'll be on the Jellyfish Skyarium because that makes sense. That stage performs pretty badly on my other laptop. Uh, I've got a mod that's supposed to simplify it so that it performs better, but it doesn't really do a good job. Uh, but it should work fine on this one. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. society. So instead so of reflecting, reflecting on themselves, they the heaven or hell. You don't look so tough. Energetic folks are great, but strong folks are even better. Sit. Sit. Versus May. May's theme is also incredible, by the way. Some sleep, but I'll breath. I'm the disaster of passion. Oh, yeah, I nailed it. Yeah, though, that was like we didn't even get through the first chorus. You can see how the matches are very short compared to the length of the songs. <laughs> oh, hey, happy chaos. I like your theme, I don't really know it that well yet. <laughs> And I think stage 7 is going to be Zato again because I'm on normal Mankind route because I lost a heart in the first society. round. So I think that's right. Of reflecting on this is, uh, to be. Or hell. Already read the synopsis. Let's get this over with. Mom's waiting. City versus Chaos. Chaos. Duel 1. Let's rock. Yeah, HC just shoots you with a gun. <laughs> of Now, 
out, right? Yeah, that's how it works. Six, Six. wins. Stage seven. Oh, it's not. It's not a rematch with Zato. Okay, Giovanna, it is. Giovanna's theme is also great, but it's one I haven't learned yet. <laughs> well, all of the music in this game is fantastic. Just to get all of it. It's amazing. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot, cannot change, change society. society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Also, she has a doggy. Okay, let's assess your threat level. Let's get this over with. Mom's waiting. CD versus Giovanna. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> when she says I'm throwing you when she throws you, I didn't notice that. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Forget whether that happened in the Bridget story mode or if it in Bridget Arcade or if that if it's still played the boss theme. The Kai's theme is really good. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Heaven or hell. Finished with your errands? Ultimate critical finished! <laughs> See. See. Well, I'm all done for the day. Let's spar. Okay, no, this is the boss thing. This is not the nice. old once in a while, Dad. You're right. It has been a while. Here I come. Duel one. Let's rock. I'm kind of glad I lost to get that line. That's really funny. <laughs> well, I'm 
all done for the day. Let's spar. Couldn't hurt to move the old bod once in a while, Dad. You're right. It has been a while. Here I come. Duel one. Let's rock. Huh? Oh, Let's grab that. That's a problem. Destroy. For the holy order. I guess Kai is in this stage because this is where I was to fight Giovanna and it's like a continuity thing. And Kai just wanders up and says, hey, did you do errands? <laughs> okay, part one. I think it's going to definitely take more practice than um. Actually, it's more than Kai, really. Kai is easy to play as. He's probably one of the easiest characters. I probably wanted to do a, a faultless defense there, but I didn't. We'll go until you have this time. He's here. I'll pass that along. Haven't you forgotten something, Sin? Hmm? Let's see. My homework's all done. Um... Your mother is asking about the groceries. <laughs> oh, man, I screwed that up! All that talk, and you couldn't manage a <laughs> shopping trip. It seems Elfelt took care of it on your behalf. She was worried about you. Elfelt. <sighs> I'm super jet beat. Okay, okay. Was I wasn't expecting Elfelt to come up. Because the previous arcade mode, um, Bridget's, I mentioned Dizzy, but she just did it again, but he also mentioned Elfelt. I'm really curious to see, like, who's coming up next after Sin, having heard that. <laughs> I have many questions. <laughs> Game over. Okay, well. Hmm. It was like, like my, my, my prediction, right, uh, was that all of Season 2 characters were going to have some relation to Dizzy, uh, because Bridget and Dizzy were besties back in Guilty Gear XX, and of course Sin is Dizzy's son. I figured the next character would be Johnny because of Dizzy's time with the um, Jellyfish Pirates, and then the fourth character would be Dizzy. But since they didn't mention her by name just then, and they did mention Elfelt, it's possible that the next character we're getting is the last Valentine. Which I mean, not, not the last Valentine, there's one just called Valentine. The last one who was in Exile. <laughs>
Ah, uh, glorious to see what's going to happen in like four months. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, well, yeah, I don't really know how to play as Sin yet, but we got through the story mode. I mean, the arcade mode is not really the mode. We got through arcade mode. Ah, uh, uh, he's pretty fun to play as. Uh, I think he's a fun character. Uh, I'm not going to main him. Um, I'm almost certainly going to keep maining Bridget until Dizzy drops, in which case I'll probably start maining Dizzy. Uh, but he's fun, and <laughs> his arcade mode is really funny. <laughs> Doubling your homework. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so... We've uh we've tried out the new character. Uh I might just jump back into training again. Have another quick look at how does we have the vampire y sort of one? And yeah, everyone's got one like this. I think there was a, a um a colour pack you could buy that gave everyone this like cyberpunk look. Or I guess Tron look basically, it's not really cyberpunk. And yeah, regardless of which character I pick, you can get them to dress up like that by doing that. I believe there are a number of mods to, uh, hang on, get yeah, right eye, and then just left eye, yeah, I wanted to check, but the eye patch did swap directions, I, th I thought it did. <laughs> right, yeah, you do a little twirly whirly if you just press heavy slash, but if you heavy slash and forward, you do this one. I'm normal from good with. Uh, Leaf Driver? Yeah, I think I was using that a bunch of times. Water Circle. Also, Bird into Heavy Slash. I don't think I use Talk Baker. Um, I tend to have a little trouble doing Dragon Punch moves without inputs, so let's, let's give it a try. I think that's it. Yeah, two hits. That looks like that's the right hard one. Okay, yeah, that's not too tricky. I can do that. Uh, it's not like it's all doing overhead attacks. Tackle avoiding moves that hit the bow. Okay, so quarter circle back and just. Okay, and you can tap it again to get a follow up. And that uses up stamina. You can't quite see it under the button input, but my like gauge down the bottom there is about a draining. See how it works. Uh, elk hunt. I think I use that one a lot. Cause yeah, it, it lunges you in and gets you nice and close. And yeah, I know about the other guys. Yeah, I can't do my follow-up because the bar was empty. Okay, let's see how it works. I'm supposed to be able to grab in mid-air, but I don't know how, I haven't managed to do it in training mode because the characters aren't in the air. <laughs> well, if I can configure it so that they are, but I haven't. Oh yeah, and um, dust attack, I don't know. You charge it up like this, and then that lets you launch people into the air, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's my normal kick. But if I do uh, a command kick, like that, my normal kicks downward. Yeah, Sin's got a number of nice commands. 
ultimate um, command normals. He actually says l Hunt when he does the l Hunt. Hey. Wait, okay, um, I think I've pretty much done all I'm gonna do in this video, but yeah. Uh, that was a bit of Guilty Gear Strive, we played, uh, Sin's, Sin's Arcade Mode. Checked out this new character and what he's capable of. He's pretty fun. Um, his Arcade Mode story is really silly, which is great. <laughs> oh, and, yeah, the fact that they mentioned Elfelt at the end there, is is bringing up all sorts of questions. Because, um, yeah, I, I was convinced it was just going to be, like, dizzy adjacent characters. Especially after the second one that dropped was literally her son. Uh, but since they happened to mention Elfo, it's possible we're getting her next. Or it's possible that's a misdirect, and we're, like, we're not getting her next, and we're getting someone completely different. My prediction, like, for next character would either be Johnny or Elfel at this point, but it's also possible that it's someone completely different and we get, like, I don't know, Robokai or Abba or something. <laughs> I suppose we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's Guilty Gear Strive's new character. He's very silly and a lot of fun to play as. And I imagine he's quite good. I'm not really, like, tuned in on the meta that much. I'm really more into the lore and kind of playing the game, but really most of the lore. <laughs> um, but I feel like Sin is probably a pretty strong character. He seems to be very capable. He's got a lot of tools in his arsenal. Hopefully you can snap, which is pretty funny. Yeah, like, like I said, in Exile you had to eat food. I believe, like, none of your specials worked if the gauge was empty and food filled up. But in this one, it's just a random buff, which is, which is fine. watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this is worth watching at all. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a, that's a little quick look at Sing Kisk and only the normal route of his arcade mode because I didn't really know how to play as him yet. Uh, but you know, if you play the same route better, uh, there's a hard ending and probably an extreme ending. I, there are four endings to most of the story modes. I assume there are four to this one too. Uh, but I'm not good enough at playing Sin yet to get to the rest of them, so there's more to look for yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>